everybody be cool. You be cool. Sorry. Honey, I hang like a dead man from a white oak tree. It's a dark night. Sorry for the singing. But hi, I'm the Iceland Rollpot, and welcome to my review of From Dusk Till Dawn, the best vampire movie ever made. You know, fuck the Lost Boys, fuck Twilight, fuck everything else. From Dusk Till Dawn, best vampire movie ever made. I Every other movie is just not just as good. It's just a movie trying to be as good as From Dust Till Dawn. Because From Dust Till Dawn is fucking badass, fucking awesome, well written, well directed, well cast, and well acted. This is the Miramax release, which re release of the laser disc, basically. It has the commentary with Robert Rodriguez and Quentin. It's a decent commentary. Outtakes, they're okay. It's just mainly George Clooney forgetting the bit in the beginning where he's going like, supposed to go, uh, something, 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 or you can... I will turn this place into the fucking wild bunch if I th see you're fucking with me. And he's always just fucking the line up. And... That's basically the gist of the outtakes. Hollywood Goes to Hell is about a 15-25 minute documentary on the film. It's not as good as Full Tilt Boogie, which is a, something I really want to see. The trailer is... It's a good trailer. It's a well done trailer. Makes the film interesting. And... The music videos is... After Dark by Tito and Tarantula and... ZZ Top's She's Just Killing Me. Plus, it's still gallery. Now, just... Best place to start is the music. Blasters by Dark Knight is... <laughs> Dark Knight by the Blasters is one of the best country songs you will ever hear in your fucking life. Just the solo going... Ba, 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 something, something. I can't remember the fucking solo. And, but then it goes to... It's a Dark Knight. <laughs> First he goes dark night and then and then he says again, it's a dark night. Just up. And the entire band comes up between behind him. ZZ Tops, She's Just Killing Me, written specifically for this movie, was good. Awesome, badass. And after dark is just one of the things that makes you think, Jesus Christ, I have a boner right now. Uh -huh. And then, then there's the acting. George Clooney giving a magnificent performance, delivering the one-liners pretty damn well, like... You're best. Better get, a, better get a hell of a lot fucking better, or you're gonna feel a hell of a lot fucking worse. Or, like I said in the beginning, everybody be cool. You be cool. Just... And then there's Quentin Tarantino, which his acting's okay. It's okay. And yeah, Harvey Keitel, stellar performance, stellar fucking performance. And of course, Juliette Lewis, also good performance. Which she is just cannon fodder basically, but still great performance. Like the movie, it's basically following Seth and Richard Gecko. That being Seth, and that's Rick. She. Basically, they rob a bank. Well, Seth robs a bank, gets arrested. Richie breaks him out. And then there's, you know, little appearances by John Saxon from Enter the Dragon. And what was his fucking name? Mark Lawrence, you know, great, great actor. You know, coming in like. And George Clooney's like, What the fuck do you th what do you think, you mean old bastard? I wanna fucking roam. You know, hmm, okay. And then there is a line when they go into the room where he's like Do they have HBO? 
No. Do they have the X-rated channel? No. Do they got a water bed at least? No. Now what the fuck do they have? They got four walls and a bed. That's all we need right now. Or the line where he's talking to the chick going, Don't you ever try and fucking run on us, because I got six little friends, and they can all run faster than you can. That was an accident, because this gun is damaged. And after that, they go to, they kidnap Harvey Keitel, like, just another moment where Julia Lewis walks through the door, and they both turn around, and Quentin Tarantino's like, she she goes, what's going on? And he goes, we're having the bikini contest, and you just won. <laughs> or 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 or. I can't remember this. Oh yeah, and the one final line before I get to the rest of the story. Welcome to Slay. Selma Hayek is a cast member I forgot to disclose. You know, and then there's Tom Zavini, Fred Williamson, and Selma Hayek plus Danny Trejo. Basically, Selma Hayek is standing on top of George Clooney, and he's like reloading his fucking gun, going, and she's going like. Welcome to slavery. And he puts the gun back and goes, Thanks, I already have a wife. <laughs> Shoots the fucking thing and just fucking impales her and shit. Now, for the finish up the storyline, basically they go to a bar in, a bar in Mexico. Bar's full of vampires. They have to survive. They survive. And, yeah, that's the movie. And just, like... And the final reveal at the end where they get to they get to the when they're leaving the Titty Twister, which is probably one of the best bars in existence, aside from the vampire bit. They you know, they're playing Dark Knight again and you know, he has discovered us in all the ruins of an old Mayan temple full of vampires. Now other stuff in there is like, like another bit is there, where they're in the middle of fighting all the vampires, Harvey Keitel takes a shotgun, rams it through Fred Williamson's chest, who's turned, and you know, he sees vampires coming at him, and he's like, <laughs> reloads it inside Fred Williamson, and you know, he's kicking him back, shooting the gun through his chest, that was... That was hilarious to me, and I fucking enjoy that moment. And and then there's the bit. The thing I never get is why you look at Tom Zavini's face when he's jumping around, kicking the shit out of vampires. You no, know, he looks happy. Oh, no, he's like, mm, boom. He looks happy to be stuck in a bar full of vampires. Ah, oh, Jesus. Mm, for qu for more quotes. Like, mm, something, something. Uh, I can't remember the fucking quote. Anyway. All I wanted to say, all I wanted to get across with this review is the movie is fucking awesome. No. If I don't do it justice here, then watch it yourself and immerse yourself in the awesomeness. Ten battery, ten percent battery remaining. Anyway, great movie. Sometime tomorrow, I'm gonna review this, and we'll see you later.